Now, the little Honda isn't a sure car by any means, but when someone offers you a free detail, you're not going to turn that down, are you? So today, I'm heading up to my car cleaning. Yep, that's right, the people who sponsor all of these videos, and the task is simple. To try and get the Acti looking the best it has done in decades, and to do that, it's going to involve snow foaming, machine polishing, and a little bit of testing with some new products that I've never used before. So hopefully you enjoy super sexy slow-mo shots, because this video is going to be packed with them. I've made you wait long enough. Go grab yourself a cuppa, get sat down, and let's get into it. Hi, that's right, you're joining me up here in sunny odd Newcastle at my car cleaning's brand new detailing bay. They've invited me up here because, well, they obviously know that I've been neglecting this poor thing for the past month, and with show season being in full swing, we need to get it looking a million bucks again. To do that, Matt from GMD Detailing will be following a multi-stage process that involves pre-cleaning, snow foaming, decontaminating, drying, polishing, and finally sealing the paintwork. Sounds like a lot of graft, and that's why proper detailers cost a substantial amount more than your people at your local Scratch and Shine. You're paying for a professional to work his magic on your paintwork with quality products, rather than having some random gadget rub sulfuric acid into your pride and joy with a brick. As always, you should start with your wheels. Why? Well, because they take an absolute beating from brake dust and all other road grime, so they'll need more time to soak. Now, I did ceramic coat these back when I fitted them, so they seem to be relatively easy to clean whenever I give them a rinse. But that didn't stop Matt from getting in there with a soft brush to make sure he got every last speck of dirt. Same again with the exhaust, just to get rid of the majority of the carbon buildup, but we will be revisiting the can closer towards the end when we hit it with a bit of polish. The next step was to remove the bed liner and to drop the sides of the bed down because what was hidden under the liner was a good couple of months buildup of sand, dust and plaster, because, like I said, this isn't a show car. It works for a living. Matt blasted the excess rubbish away before hitting it with a pre-cleaner to break down the rest of the crap baked onto the bed, and after rinsing it off, it was time for everybody's favourite part. Snow foaming. Now you might be wondering what products and equipment we used on the day, not only to achieve this super thick snow foam, but also on the rest of the truck before and after this step. To be totally honest with you though, I am nowhere near qualified enough to talk about it. What I've done though is compiled a list of products in the video description so you can go have a look down there and see step by step what we used. But I really do recommend going over to My Car Cleaning's Instagram, or if you're 9 years old their TikTok profile, to see everything in more detail. And remember, if you leave a comment under this video and subscribe to my channel, you'll automatically enter the free monthly giveaway, where this month you could win a G-Technic wash mitt and a bottle of Stiana Gloss Pre-Cleaner, all thanks to the guys who are washing the truck. Now, the Acti might only be small, but it does take quite some time to do a proper detail on it, purely because of all the little creases and hard-to-reach places around the truck. So after Matt finished running around it with a wash mitt, he rinsed off the excess foam and shampoo, which of course I had to get some more slow-mo shots of, before we pulled it into the detailing bay to get it out of the sun and dry it off under the immaculate lighting setup that they have in here. This is probably where the average Joe like myself would just towel it down with a microfiber and be done with it. But Matt whipped out his big black hose and let me tell you, using one of these to dry off the truck is a revelation. Because you can blow the water out from all those hard to reach spots that you can't quite get to with a cloth, so you know you're not going to have any streaks when you set off for a drive. Genius. I have to admit I thought the Acti was looking pretty good at this point, but Matt thought he could spruce up the paintwork even more by tickling it with a medium compound polish. Machine polishing is something I've never actually done before, and even though the paintwork was in good condition to begin with, it was really impressive to see the transformation after he'd worked his way around the full truck. It was silky smooth to the touch, and as you can see with this shot here, it was gleaming. Still a little bit of orange peel, which, if we had more time, he could have improved, but in the couple of hours that Matt had to work his magic, the paintwork came up fantastic. Whilst Matt was on with that job though, Elliot from My Car Cleaning decided to test out a new plastic restorer and it is mega. So much so that I've actually bought a bottle of it to do the arches on the Mini that I daily drive. Super easy to apply, you literally just rub it on with a microfiber cloth, wait 10 minutes and then rub off the excess. And apparently it lasts for 6 months as well. Class. He tackled the glass for me as well, getting a mirror-like finish on it before Matt started his next job of applying a ceramic coating. Unlike most ceramic coatings, this one is extremely easy to apply and I've been assured that even a pleb like me could do it. 
No detail would be complete without a good lathering of tyre shine. It honestly is probably one of the most overlooked things when it comes to cleaning your car. A lot of people don't seem to bother doing it, but it makes the world a difference. The bed liner and mats were given a good scrub outside which brought them back to life. And last but not least, we revisited the exhaust with a bit of metal polish to brighten the chrome back up. It's actually a motorbike can, if you hadn't realised before. Probably explains the deafening noise it produces. Anyway, that was it. I was genuinely amazed at how good it looked in the detailing bay. There was not a blemish on the car once Matt was finished with it. I pulled out of the unit so you could dress the underside of the tyre a little bit easier and it is mad how different the paint looks in the direct sunlight. More like a grey than a brown now, innit? Now, it would have been rude not to go to the My Car Cleaning store whilst I was up there to pick up some gear. And if you're ever in Newcastle, you should drop in and say hi if you ever need anything. All of the staff live and breathe detailing products, so if you don't know exactly what you need, just ask. But don't worry if you live miles away, you can always use my code LUCKSHIP10 when ordering off their website to get 10% off over 2,000 different detailing products. Massive thank you to Omar, Elliot and Matt for having me up there and sorting the truck out, it looks immaculate. And why don't you drop the video a like if you agree? Remember to comment and subscribe to enter the free monthly giveaway, and yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.